Welcome everyone. This is your first step in painting the bear head for your bear head totem. This is going to be very, very simple and easy. So take a deep breath and relax. Now in your kit, you will have gotten your bear head and you will have gotten your paints and some brushes. And all you need to add to that is a container of water and a paper towel. Now on your paints, you will have black, dark brown, a reddish brown, a lighter medium brown, and a very light uh, sort of creamy brown, and then a white. So what we're gonna do is the very first step is we're gonna actually go to the second color, which is the dark brown. We're actually gonna cover the whole bear with dark brown. I know that seems strange, but bear with me. <laughs> Make sure to get it into all the depths of the fur marks. So what you want is you want it to be down inside the fur. That's really important. That's the whole reason we're doing this dark color first. All right. That's going to give us our shadow color. While you're painting bear, it's a good time to reflect on what bear is all about and how we would consider the help of bear medicine. And one of the things that we know about bears is a mother bear is very, very protective and nurturing of their cubs. And I'm gonna go right over the eyes. I'm just going to do the whole thing dark brown. And because of that, bear is known, bear medicine is known as nurturing. Also protecting. But nurturing is a big one, especially right now in these times. Uh, you know, with COVID and all these things that are happening in the world right now, it seems like everything is falling apart. It's a time of winter. And in winter, bear likes to hibernate. And what that means is to go inside the cave and sort of meditate, internalize, go inside, think. And uh, calm ourselves and relax ourselves and get away from all the negative energies and all the energies that might be influencing you which could be everything in the world right now, or your neighbors. So, but one of the important things about Mama Bear is Mama Bear, now I'm just gonna go over the whole thing because it's just easier. Mama Bear tends to nurture her cubs and uh, you may find the same, you have kids and you nurture your kids, you nurture your partner, you nurture your friends. But what about yourself? And this is one of the biggest things that we can learn from bear is we go in our cave, you know, a quiet space, maybe make a sacred space and we nurture ourselves so that we may help others. We can't really help others unless we, we nurture ourselves. And I'm gonna try to get around the edge as well because you don't want that to be white. And I'm just going to do the whole thing and I'm trying to be very careful to get in those grooves. That's the fur um, because we're going to bring it out with dry brushing. Just going to go around the edge. So make sure even a little on the back because you might want to paint the back as well. So I'm just going to paint this and make sure I get it around the edges. Take your time. If you feel like you missed some spots, now go back over them. And that's the beginning of Bear. Welcome back, everyone. This is the second part of painting your bear head. Now I want to take this moment to show you how beautiful Bear actually looks just painted in brown. 
looks beautiful and dark and mysterious. I love it. Um, now we have curated this bear totem art kit for you and we've selected certain colors um, and a certain palette for you to use. But I do want to take a moment to let you know that this kit is really about bear medicine and just working with bear. You may find certain things happening in your life because we have found the same to be true for us. Um, you can paint this bear head any color you want to. So if you happen to have some extra colors at home um, or you want to run out anywhere, dollar store or anywhere you want um, and get some exciting colors, you can do that as well. It can be bright neon pink bear, it can be zebra stripe bear, it can be purple bear, it can be whatever you like. Um, because that's not the important part. That would be important to your personal self. But I'm going to start on this because I don't want to keep you too long. Um, we're going to go to the third color, which is like a reddish brown, which I love. Let me just get this open. And now what we're going to do, and it's very simple to do, you've got a flat brush. This is a bright flat brush. And what you're going to want to do is you don't want to take too much paint. All right. And I'm going to actually wipe it off. And this is going to be called dry brushing. Okay, so not a lot of paint. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to brush that paint on and I'm holding this fairly flat so that it just catches the top of the fur. And what you're gonna notice happening is that in the depths you'll have the darkness and then on the tops you'll start to have this rich sort of brown color come out. This just adds a wonderful dimension. Um, I did all of this fur texture so that we could do this particular. There's nothing like a big furry bear. Now, the very, very, very important thing about bear is the medicine. And that's what we want you to understand. And part of that is also strength. Um, bear is large and very, very strong. And what this means for us, it can mean many different things, but right now with all the things happening in the world, not only do we need to nurture ourselves, but we, I think we, we really have to become strong, strong in ourselves um, to withstand all this sort of chaos that's been going on. Um, we want to gain some strength. And we want to also reflect. Now is a great time, coming into winter, being in winter and coming into the new year. What you want to do is you kind of want to reflect on your life, your past, maybe this past year, um, what's been going on with yourself, with your family, with your friends, your relationships, everything. And you see how you've got this reddish tinge coming? It's starting to look so beautiful. And that's all you do. And just hold your brush flat so it goes and glides across the top of the textures. Okay, the more wet your brush, I think the one thing that I would like to tell you is it's better to go over it and over it and over it rather than try to get too much paint on your brush. Because all that's going to do is it's going to fill in the cracks uh, and the depths of your strokes and then that dark brown is going to have been useless really for you. So there's kind of an example of too much paint on the brush and it's okay if that happens in in spots and make sure you get the whole thing do the ears inside the ears and all we want is a little bit of this beautiful color make sure you get under there I think that's pretty good and uh, I'm going to stop right there. And there is your second coat. So 
here we are, the third part of painting Bear Head for the Bear Head Totem. Um, I'm really excited. I already love how beautiful he is, or she. Um, so we're going to work on the fourth color, and this is going to be a, a lighter brown. And we really want to use our flat brush for this. And I make sure it's flat and dry because we're going to do the same technique. So I'm going to grab some paint, but I'm going to take a lot of it off. And I do mean a lot. We want it quite dry. If you have it very dry, the wonderful thing about that is you can kind of, I call it scrubbing it. But what I really mean is I can keep going on it and scrub, 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 scrub until I feel like I have enough on there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm now I'm going to start to go on the highlight sections of my bear. I don't want to do all of it. So I might do right here under the eye because it's like a cheekbone here. So when the light is coming on, it's emphasized. I'm also going to do on top of the head a bit, but where it dips in here, I may leave it. All right. And so you start to see sh it's like a shaping. So wherever the light falls, that's where we want to put this lighter color. And you see, I'm, I'm kind of scrubbing. I just keep going and going because I have very little paint on there and I don't have to be quite as careful. Now, if you feel like it's not light enough, go over it some more. That's what I do. I scrub, 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 scrub. And so you can start to see that the lightness is coming out. I love it. I get so excited with this stuff because um, it's bringing bear to life. And you see how I'm just, just a little bit there and a little bit there. But I'm gonna leave here, I'm gonna try to leave it a little bit darker right there and in here, okay? And then right here on the tips, right here on the tips, but I'm gonna leave it dark right in here. Um, so just however you feel. And you don't have to worry, this is not exact. You see how it really brings out that fur? That's beautiful. Now I'm gonna do the same uh, on the other side, but I'm, I'm just gonna do the top here of the nose, or the muzzle, I should say, right here. Okay, that right here is going to be lighter, okay? It's like magic, isn't it? And then I'm going to go to the other side. And so just like over here, I'm going to go under the eye. Okay. You know, I'm not very graceful. So you don't have to be very graceful. Just to keep your brush as dry as you can. Okay. And then on top of the eye, you might want to gather a little bit more paint when you need it. You don't need a lot, but... There we go, just on top of the eye and the head. And the same as before, we wanna actually leave it dark right here in this groove, okay? Because it goes down and uh, we're, it's like contouring, contour painting. We're contouring the head. And for me, I love this, I love this. I love going lighter, 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 lighter and uh, just building up this contour. So you see how you can see bear coming to life. And now I'm going to do the same here on the muzzle right here. Okay, just on that top part. We want to leave the under. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, I love them. I love it. And then I'm just going to go around the rough here. Okay, just at the edge, kind of like that. And I think that is good for the, the head part. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to do the ears as well. And uh, if you leave some spots undone, that's good too, because we do have the other two colors on there. So yeah, I don't have to worry. And a little bit on the inside. Okay, we just want to pop that out. A little bit on the inside so we can pop that out. So just a light dab. 
make sure I got some going on here. And it does not have to be completely consistent. Okay, because this is fur, but that is your third step. Welcome back to the fourth part of our painting the bear head for our bear uh, wild bear totem kit. So we only have a couple more steps left, so we're going to do them all right now. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our fifth color, um, which is a very light, um, it's almost like a beigey color. And this is going to be for our highlights, all right? So we did all that dry brushing, so we're still dry brushing, and I need this to be very dry because this is quite a light color. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're just going to very lightly hit a few spots. Right on top of the eye, maybe right here. We, I don't wanna do everywhere that I did the other. I'm just gonna do the very tops, okay? We just want to start to pop it out even more. Right on top of the muzzle there. Okay, I did not do that whole thing. I just want a little bit there so it just emphasizes even more some of the little details. And probably right on the side of the muzzle here and here. Okay, again on top, right on top, right there. Okay, so you can see just popping it out just a little bit more. Okay, and once again right here and a little bit right here, but not all over. Okay, it's just that very top of that highlight. And then just a little bit right here, a bit more on the tips. She's got frosty tips. <laughs> she's, she's so pretty. And then on the ears and in the ear, it's very quick, not a lot, you don't need a lot. And this shouldn't be super wet on your bear, um, so you should be able to touch it. So, And there you have it, you have your highlights. And it goes darker because we started out dark. So one of the things I'm gonna do is see where the eyelid is here. I'm gonna just dry brush on top a little bit so I can bring out the eyes. So the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to do the eyes. And I do want them a little darker. I want them to be beautifully dark. And so we're gonna go now with that round brush. It's called a round brush. It's one that can develop into a point. And how I make sure that it's a point is I wet it and then I roll it on my paper towel to make sure I come to a point. And then I'm going to come in and I'm just going to get some of that black in where that eye is. Oh yeah. Because that just adds a little bit more deepness and depth to that eye. It's a wild bear eye. She is beautiful. Okay. Just try to get that all in there. Ooh, she's so pretty. Okay, and then I'm going to go to my flat brush just because it's a little bigger. And I think bigger is always better when it comes to painting. Uh, and I'm going to, just very carefully, I'm going to paint this beautiful big nose, especially on the inside of the nose. Okay, because that's where it's going to be very dark. that out and two more things I mean I think this is fabulous but I'm gonna make sure I have a really good point and I'm going to open my white because I'm gonna do a little highlight on the eye and I'll tell you if you can do this it'll pop your eyes right out Okay, and what I'm going to do is on the same side of both eyes, just off center, is a little highlight from 
the light shining on this shiny eyeball. And as you can see, it just adds that touch of magic. And there you have it. Hi there, my name is Kelly and I am one of the co-creators along with Nikki Markoff of the Wild Animal Totem Art Kits. So you are in the final home stretch. You have completed your masterpiece, your coyote head, or perhaps you have just completed owl, or perhaps you've just finished bear. So this stage is about bringing all of the elements together. So what I want to do is I just want to bring your attention to the contents of your art box because this is where you're going to pull stuff out and you're going to start building. So you will notice that you have some interesting symbols. These are the symbols for coyote. This is a semi-precious stone, the sun, and a square bead. Each animal has symbols unique to its medicine, to its energy. You also have binding material, hemp string, copper wire. Each symbol has a hole where you can thread through the binding material and you can attach the symbol to your totem by wrapping it. You can also, if you don't want to wrap, you have strong bond glue. You can glue your symbols to your totem, just like this artist did. So Lexi glued her symbols, and then as an interesting creative artistic element, she wrapped hemp and copper at the base. You will find a small wooden dowel. This is designed to go into the back of your animal head. So you will have a hole there. You will want to put glue into the back of your animal head. You have your wooden piece. You can put some glue into the wood and affix it. And I recommend that you let this sit for at least a couple of hours so that you're working with a solid structure and the head doesn't move. The other thing that you will notice is the paw print. Each animal has its unique stamp on the earth. So we wanted to put that little element in there. So this is where you would take your sponge and your paint. You would place your stencil on the side of your totem, anywhere actually on your totem. You could even go on the back here. You'll place it here and then you would just apply the paint to your stencil. Lastly, you have interesting stamps. You actually have one stamp in your kit. Each kit has one unique stamp that is actually an image taken from the cave paintings dating back 30,000 years, the original cave art. So this is just a, another creative element that you can bring into to kind of imbue more of that magic into that totem piece. Again, take your sponge, take your paint, apply it to the stamp, and then you can apply it to the wooden totem, okay? You will notice that the area of the stamp will not line up and match perfectly your wooden totem. We're not working with perfection here. We're working with symbolism. We're working with the wisdom of some of these pieces and the their unique meaning. So you might just get a hint of this, which is fine. Um, and then I think the most important part is, is understanding and following your own urges, your own creative urges, your intuition, your preferences for placement. I call that the art of arranging. How you arrange your totemic piece is so uniquely you. It's your aesthetic. So I want you to, again, let go, have fun, and please share your images with us. We have already received countless images. We have had people come into the studio and paint their totem with Nikki. And it has been truly a magical experience every single time. 
We have these animal totems anywhere from Canada to the United States, and now they've made their way to Abu Dhabi. And um, these animals are making their way around the world. So please share your images and have fun. And thank you again for supporting Nikki and I. Thanks so much. Take care.